Hello, hello. So today I am going to be showing you the back end of my stand store and showing you some ins and outs of the back end and a few things that I didn't realize about stand store until I actually signed up things that I couldn't find on their website or in other tutorial videos. So let's dive right in. Now, when you first sign up for stand store, this is what it's going to look like when you first log in. Now, I've only had this for a few days because I am testing it out to see if it will work in my business or not. But this is what you will see when you first log in. So you're able to actually see how many people have landed on your stand store, your link in bio, over that specific day and be able to get really good data so that you can see if what you are posting is converting to clicks on your link in bio. But where the real magic lives is here, we're gonna head to my store. Now, really quickly, you can customize your stand store and this here is what mine looks like, how I've customized it. So I believe that you cannot create your own stand store template from scratch, but you can use a few different templates that they have listed here, which other people have created for you to use. So these are all of the options that you can choose from. And then you can choose the color. So to kind of change up the color here or to input your own hex code. So that is nice to customize it a little bit. And we're going to head into sections and this is where you really want to be. So this is where everything for your stand store is going to live. All of these links here, you can see that this one is a draft. So it's not showing up here, which is nice that I can put it in draft mode. And what you're going to do is go add a product and this will let you add something new to your stand store. Now, one thing I want to note that I did not realize before signing up for stand store was that there are actually two different payment tiers. So the first tier is $29 per month and it gives you access to everything here. But if you really want access to everything in stand store and more of the analytical side of things, maybe you want order bumps or funnels, then you will have to pay the $99 per month. So if you want access to absolutely everything to truly run your business, to create courses, to do everything in stand store, then I just want to know that it is $99 per month. Or if you pay annually, they have a little bit of a discount, of course, but that's one thing that I didn't actually know before signing up for Standstore. So you can do everything here except for the e-course. So you actually cannot host your own course on the basic $29 per month version of Standstore. So in order to host a course, if you do have the basic version of Standstore, you will need to have another platform, whether that's Kajabi, Teachific, Thinkable, whatever that may be. So that will be an additional cost on top of the $29 per month. So that is something good to keep in mind. But everything else that's highlighted here, you are able to do on the $29 per month. So I will go into collect emails to show you what it looks like, since this is a pretty popular thing to set up. You are able to change this photo and it's nice because they have a library of a bunch of photos here already or you can type in a keyword to search so you don't have to pull it from the internet and then upload it so it just saves an extra step um the one thing i have noticed is that you cannot change the font style and the size of the font so i think this looks a little bit small but that's not something that you can change in stand store right now you can add whatever it may be that you want here for when they sign up to collect their information you can add these custom fields and then to actually attach your file you can upload a file here or you can put a link here if it's going to be something in google sheets or something that requires a link then you can put the link here and then we're going to head up to advanced so you can change the email confirmation which is handy so you can personalize that a little bit and there's also integrations now in terms of email integrations they only have mailchimp since i use flowdesk and not mailchimp i have actually gone in and connected my zapier account so now anytime anybody signs up through sansor and gives me their email address it goes automatically into flowdesk but this is not something native within sansor you do have to connect this on zapier which you get five free zaps and then after that it does become paid so that's something good to note as well so one other thing i wanted to note now let's say you're going to sell a digital download and this is pretty common so very likely that you may do this you set it up the same way that you set up your email opt-in 
you have the checkout page here. So here you can determine the pricing and the fields. However, right here, this is also a really key feature that is only limited to the $99 per month plan. So if you want to add a discount code, limited quantity, or offer payment plans on the basic plan of $29 per month, you actually cannot do this. So this is something important to note of this limitation. And I also want to note, if we go here into advanced, the order bump and the affiliate share are also both premium features. So these are really important things that are only included on the more premium plan. So this is definitely something to keep in mind. However, the promo videos and customer reviews, the call to action, which is this right here, the confirmation email customization and the email integrations are all included. But to really make some more sales in your business, you will have to upgrade to the $99 per month plan. So that is something I wanted to note. And that is what the actual store builder in and of itself looks like what you can and what you cannot do with the basic version of stand store. So funnels is also something I was really looking forward to diving into. Again, however, it is a premium feature on the $99 per month plan. So unfortunately, on my current plan, I can't create funnels, I can't sort people and put them into different queues. That is something that is reserved for the more premium tier. The last thing I want to address is audience. So I'm not going to click on audience just to not reveal the email addresses in there. However, one question I had before signing up for a stand store was, am I actually able to natively send emails within Sandstore through the emails that I've collected? Can I create a campaign, create a draft, whatever it may be called, and send an email through Sandstore? So after exploring, the answer is no. Sandstore will only collect the names, email addresses, phone number, whatever data you want it to collect. When somebody gives you their email address and their information, it will store it here. And from there, you can either connect it with Zapier or export it as a CSV. And then you can import it into your native email list sender, builder, whatever you use, whether it's ConvertKit, MailChimp, Flowdesk, whatever it may be. And then that is how you will be sending the email. So you cannot natively send emails to your audience within a stand. You will need another program and application for that. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'd be more than happy to help since I have had a look around Sandstore and I know I definitely had some questions before signing up for Sandstore that were not addressed anywhere else on the internet. And if you do want to sign up for a free trial, my link is below. I would really appreciate if you use that link to sign up.